What's up guys? Uh, today's video will be going through a bungalow that I designed. So here's my conversation with the owner. She described here some aspects of the house. So it's approximately 24 to 27 square meters, excluding the kitchen. There would be two people living in the house plus four dogs and they're going to have a baby soon. She works from home and the husband is going to have a small shop beside the house. They're both nature and wood lovers. And then they both love to cook and bake. So the kitchen would be a favorite area for them. And personally, she wants a lot of compartments or drawers to hide some stuff to make the house still neat and clean. And she's also a bag collector while her husband is a music lover, so he has DIY speaker ampli amplifiers and a lot of stuff for his mini sound system. And then she provided pictures of the house as well as a video, like a house tour of the bear unit. And she also provided an electrical layout, so that really helped me a lot in designing the house so this is the floor plan of the house you have here the living space you have the main door over here you have the door going to the kitchen and the only partition inside the house is this bathroom here at the upper right and then you have windows on all sides so this rectangle over here with the pattern, that's the edge of the roof planning, which was shown in the electrical layout that the owner sent us. And then the larger perimeter is the lot area of the property. So let's have a tour of the house. So this is the view of the front of the house. So what I wanted to emphasize here is that since you have a limited space for your living area inside, my recommendation would be to utilize the space outside the house. So in this case, we utilized the front of the area as your outside foyer. So we installed here a sanitation area where your guests can wash their hands before going in. We have benches over here where your guests can sit down or change their shoes. So here you have built-in drawers for shoes. And let's head inside the house. So this is your view from the main door. So as you can see, this looks like the dining space. But before we head there, let's check out the living space first. So let's first discuss the floor. So the tip for flooring when you have dogs is the harder the better. So in this case, we're using tiles so that it's scratch free and just make sure that it's non-slip so that your pets won't uh, slide and then now let's check out the living space so as you enter to the left is your living space so you have a media center over here so lots of storage for your belongings and then you have a space for your television if you can or if you want to you can install something that's revolving so that if you want to watch television from your dining area you can do so and then there's also open spaces just to have a better airflow across the areas then you even have storage here at the bottom 
so this is also where you can put in few of your stuff or more of your shoes if you have more of them and then opposite the shelf is your sofa so for the sofa since we, again we have pets i would suggest having leather so that it's easy to wipe and it doesn't absorb odor and you have to avoid white or light colored upholstery and delicate fabric since there's a tendency for the pets to damage them also the size fits a single bed so this can also serve as a day bed and the compartment underneath is also a pull out so this also fits a single bed so two persons can sleep here and this is great especially since you're having a child so you don't want to go up and down the stairs all the time so for the sleepless nights you can rest here then so as you can see here there's a sliding door underneath the stairs so this is actually storage this is storage this is storage and when you open the sliding door so you have plenty of space for storage so in this case you have a crib so what i like about this crib is it has rollers so you can pull it wherever you like or wherever it's comfortable for you and then it also has an adjustable base so depending on the age or the size of the baby you can adjust it if the baby grows older and taller you can um, pull it down or put it down so that the baby won't fall off and then we also have trolleys over here for the baby needs so you can have baby's milk here diapers cotton powder all the stuff that you need for baby then there's another one here at the back and then this one is your pull out desk so you can pull it out you can sit on your couch and work here and it has plenty of space for storing your work stuff over here and then if you're not using it you can just push it right back inside so while baby is not yet here you can totally use this space for storing huge things like luggages or you can use it as a nook for your dogs to stay in up to you and then still talking about storages so you have the base of the stairs also a storage and then the upper part of the stairs is also storage so if you pull that out there's plenty of storage for all your stuff even clothes so from this angle you can comfortably watch television and also from this angle you can look up and see your very nice chandelier over here that's also nature themed and then as you can see also from this angle you have shelving that features your bag collection and then just to the left we just added some decor here that uh, kind of shows your love for dogs aside from of course owning four of them and then of course the stairs is a very good space for you to show your photos since you love going on nature trips going hiking and going to the beach then you can totally display them here and then we just added a clock as an accent piece and of course let's not forget a piece that pays tribute to the hubby's love for music 
So let's go head up and check out the loft. So the loft is pretty basic. Of course, just have a space here for your queen size bed. And then we have closets here where you can hang your clothes. And then of course your storage for your bags over here. So we opted for a white solid material for this side of the storage so that it gives you privacy your guests from the living area won't be able to see your bed and that's pretty much it for your loft now let's go down and check out the dining space and the rest of the house so this is your dining area so we just added a bedding here for your dog and we chose this repurposed bicycle as a stand for your dining table that sits two persons so it's a very good conversation piece for your guests and it just gives you a nostalgic feeling or it gives a nature inspired vibe to the place Aside, of course, from all the greeneries that you can see, including the blinds over here. And then if you need more seating for guests, you can also have something like this. So this is a fold-up table that you can fold up and attach to your table over here if you need extra seating. Alright, so you just have your refrigerator over here and the rest of your stuff for baking and cooking are in the kitchen. But before we head out there, let's check out the bathroom first. So this thing over here is just a divider. So the owner said that they don't want the bathroom door seen from the dining area and the living space. So we put this divider over here. We chose this because it doesn't use up too much space and it's totally portable. So if you want to remove it, if you need a space and you want to be able to go around the two areas more easily, you can remove it if you want or you can change it if you are tired of the pattern. So it's very convenient this way. So let's go check out the bathroom first. So the bathroom, we kept it simple. There was a water closet already and a water basin. We just added some storage underneath. And we also added storage up top with a mirror. We also added shower enclosure and then the shower was already there and we also added storage for your soap and shampoo and all your needs for showering and then we went bold with the tiles um, the floor is basically just white but the wall tiles we changed it a bit and went bold with these shades of green so totally up to you if you're into that or you want to make it plain. And that's it for the bathroom. Let's go head out to the kitchen. So on the left side of the door, there was already provision for your sink. 
so we kept the sink there we just added storage at the bottom and up top and then we also have here some dog bed and then we just added some creamy leaves and then on the other side you have your oven and your gas range for cooking you have lots of counter space for food prep for baking so we added some work lights underneath the cabinets and then lots of storage underneath and lots of storage up top so the entire length of the kitchen all storage both underneath and on top so you won't go out of storage space and by the way we changed the window here so this type is uh, sliding I mean you can slide it up so you can uh, food prep you can cook and then just lift up the window and serve your food to your guests on the other side or to your wife or your husband if you're kind of in a in a date night and you want to prepare the meal that way so very convenient and very fun and then over here on the edge we just added some kind of a nook for your pet so this can serve as their feeding station and you can also add like a mud room or a staging area where you can clean your dogs and dry them up before they go and inside the rest of the house and then for the roof since it was only up to this part of the house we added this polycarbonate roofing you can totally opt for any material and we just added some perimeter fence over here and then this space would be for the shop of the husband all right so i think that's it so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned a thing or two from it if you enjoy this video please do share and if you haven't subscribed yet i hope you do and if there's anything that you want share with us or comment or suggest feel free to do so thanks again for watching take care and i'll see you in the next vlog bye for now mm -hmm.